Greetings, Internet! I am Ken from the Computer Clan, and I was recently asked how I made my Windows XP system look like Vista. Someone asked for me to do a tutorial on how to change it. I showed a Windows XP system in Crazy Ken using a Vista skin, so I'll show you the met that I've been using for a long time. I am using a little program called Vista Inspirit Bricopack Ultimate 2.1. <laughs> long name. So you can Google search that and download it. I'll give you a link to the Soft32 site that I used. Make sure to avoid all the lovely clickbait and download it from there. Again, do this at your own risk. I don't want to be held responsible if stuff blows up. Once it's downloaded, open up your downloads folder, right click on the zip and extract all. I will just set this to the desktop for simplicity. Boom, boom, next, and let it go. Finish. So now here's the installer. Double click the installer, open it up. Beautiful splash screen. So English, if you speak English, and if you speak English but not French and you want to challenge yourself, choose French. It'll be very fun. Hit OK. This does not work with 64-bit versions of Windows XP. Maybe there's a workaround. Compatible systems, next. Accept the license terms. And now you can choose what configuration you want. I just use the classic because it gives you the Vista skin, but it also gives you a third-party app that gives you like a Mac OS X type dock interface. So we'll do that, keep the default install location, and I just keep the default start menu location. And preparing to install, let's watch that progress bar go. Oh yeah, here we go. Come on, it's modifying a lot of files. Now as you install, you will notice you'll get some default desktop icons here. So you see there's the wallpaper, and here's our dock interface. And we do need to reboot the computer, so we'll do that now. And as you can hear, we have the Longhorn sound effects. That's what comes with this pack. And I believe they're the Longhorn sounds simply because this pack might have predated the actual Vista sound effects. I'm not quite sure, but they sound nice. So now you'll notice we have those sound effects, the new default wallpaper, the dock interface, the Vista style taskbar, start button, and even a tweaked start menu. So, we can actually go to settings here for the dock if you want to change things for the dock. It actually has different theme settings and a bunch of other cool styles and everything. So that's an option. You can also double click here to configure the Vista Inspired system. So, let's say I don't want Rocket Dock on, I can say turn off and boom, hit OK. Now that's going. If you right click on the desktop and go to properties, you can then choose the appearance tab. So we're using Vista Inspired 2. And we can change that to our Windows XP style if we want to go back to that. Or we can choose Vista. And we get some different color scheme options as well. So there's a lot of customizable settings inside of here. So I'll turn this one on so you can get a look at that. We get a different type of start button and a different type of taskbar interface. And I'll just set it back to Vista Inspire 2 for this demo. And as you can see, the buttons change, the windows change, everything changes. So that's a quick look at Vista Inspire It. You can transform your XP system into a Vista skinned machine. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Hit me up in the comments section or on Twitter or on any of our other social networks that are part of the Computer Clan. I hope you'll learn something, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Would you like to check out our comedy series? If so, you can watch the season finale right here. Or perhaps you'd like to watch our Daishokan cosplay music video. If so, you can click right here.